Thank you so much. I think we are almost uh, up and down to go because I know, Sidra, you are very, very tight with time. Sidra, would you like me to refer to you as Lady Sidra Niham or Sidra? I want to be polite. Um, it's up to you. Just call me Sidra. It's fine. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Thank you so much yes. to you all for joining us and it will be very difficult for me to, to start with an introduction, but I will start with people I see on the screen first. Susan, just very briefly, your name and your role, please. Hello, I'm Susan Watts-Kings and I joined the team a couple of weeks ago. I, I began as a volunteer community advocate originally. Um, and obviously now I'm a fully fledged member of the team. Thank you, Max. Hello, everybody. So lovely to see you all and um, great to be here. Um, yes, I did uh, advocacy as a volunteer for over a year and loved it. And I'm delighted to say I'm now permanent part of the team, uh, very much in training and um, really looking forward to the session and hope you are too. Thank you, Claire. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so I was a volunteer for about, well, just over a year. Um, I've recently left because I just joined the NHS as a trainee psychological wellbeing practitioner. Okay, thank you, uh, Jasmine. Fini. Hi, I, uh, myself, Fini Johnson. I'm a registered social worker in England and I'm working as a trainee uh volunteer trainee under georgetta thank you thank you sandrine hi everyone um i'm sandrine and i'm a volunteer advocate been doing it for about a year now jackie whiteside hi um i'm jackie whiteside um and i only joined today <laughs> as a volunteer advocate excellent thank you greg churchill Hi there, yes, um, I am working as an uh, independent mental capacity advocate, or PR, um, NHS health complaints advocate, and I've been at Rethink for about two years now. Excellent, thank you so much. Jackie first, please. Hi, yes, so I'm a um, volunteer advocate. I started, I think, in April and got missed in the loop a little bit, but luckily, George, I said, picked me back up, so looking forward to being part of the group. Thank you. Olivia? Hi, I'm Amelia. I'm a volunteer. I'm a change counselor. Um, I've only just started quite recently, so I'm still shadowing. But yeah, really looking forward to it. Hi, um, I joined uh, Rethink in July and been working as an advocate since then. Excellent. Thank you so much, Tom. Hi, I've been working as a community advocate since I think February or March. Um, yeah, under Essex Advocacy. Excellent. Uh, Jasmine, she's another a great volunteer of ours. What is beautiful in our, if I look at val a volunteering pathway, because some of our colleagues that I do not like, I'm not saying volunteer, I'm saying colleagues, community advocates, some of them initially join us because they had some issue to be resolved and they become volunteer and then <laughs> they are employee, which is fantastic journey. So now I'm going to hand you over to lovely Sida, whom I had the opportunity to meet before through Women Interface Group in Basel, a fantastic meeting we had a couple of years ago. Thank you, Sida, and thank you so much for your time. I know how busy you are. Thank you very much for having me. And um, I run a women's group in Basildon, which has been run running for over 10 years now. And uh, the group is actually um, they're for all faiths and none, and all different um, uh, colours uh, from the BAME community and the white British English as well. It's been very, very successful and we've been uh, dealing with lots of vulnerable ladies in particular uh, through talks on faith, talks on mental health, craft activities, um, sports, that kind of stuff. So I'm going to talk you through our journey today. Um, okay, so Women Together started actually from a conference that Essex Mind and Spirit ran. Essex Mind and Spirit is actually a organisation which I'm a chair of, and it's an organisation that tackles mental health through faith. So um, this is actually the conference that I went to and I actually helped to organise. And uh, it was at that conference where I met 
a group called Reason, which actually um, was based in Southend. It's called Racial Equality Accessing Support Opportunities Now. And it was that group which then came up to me and said that there's a really big gap in Basildon where there is nothing there for the BAME community. And there's lots of ladies who are cooped up in their houses and they've got nowhere to go. So I then set up a group and it was supported actually by Basildon Council, who then gave us the room. And we then got lots of ladies together and all different backgrounds started to join in because of everything that we did. So we were running the group for vulnerable ladies who needed support. We did that through arts and crafts, teas and coffee, speakers and relaxation, uh, including exercise and faith talks as well. So I'm going to talk you through some of the things that we did. So the first one was all of them were actually quite religious. A lot of them were from the Muslim community. A lot of them were churchgoers as well from the church around the corner from the Basildon Centre, which is where our group was. So we used interfaith. We had topics, people coming in from different faiths. And I was actually a speaker to begin with for this. I didn't, I wasn't completely the chair in those days. I was just a speaker. So I would talk from the Muslim faith. We had a Buddhist person coming in, Peter Goebel. And we had lots of other people coming and talking about tolerance and uh, how to integrate within all the different faiths. Then we had a police officer who used to come in and he would talk about race hate crime. He was the race hate crime officer in Basildon and he would talk to the ladies on where they would go to get the support for help if there were any problems with race hate, which there were. One of the ladies, her actually car got uh, burnt down. She lived in Basildon and that was a race hate crime. So she was in a lot of problems. So this police officer helped us with that. And we also had Shamrika Sides, Sides coming in who would help us with inclusion and diversity. She was from Basildon Council. And Dunge, somebody may know here, is also, also in that photo. And we'd had a homeopath coming in as well, talking to us about herbal medicine and how that can help with our mental health and well-being. And food was actually the highlight. So at lunch times, we would all get together and we would actually share our food and uh, we would share our food we would all bring in a dish and it was excellent because people from the white british community would bring in sandwiches which we all loved and we would bring in samosas and things which everybody else loved so it was a really good way of integrating with everybody from all different cultures and faiths we also had christmas parties there's the top left christmas party we had we also had an Eid party, bottom left. We had a Jubilee party. That was actually the golden Jubilee um, of the Queen. And we had talent shows where everybody there would actually share their talent from whichever uh, culture they were from. So there's a Chinese line dance there that we did, the Chinese dancing. And also I actually did some bangra with the ladies, which was just brilliant. And that was bringing in the Indian aspect. Bangra is Indian uh, uh, dancing. Martial arts. We do have men coming in. So we had Steve Merrick coming in. He was the fitness instructor. And he taught us how to do self-defense. Some of the ladies were suffering from physical violence. And uh, the physical violence was not good at all. So they would, uh, this man actually taught us how to self-defense. And this woman actually then, uh, you know, stop the, stopped all that physical violence by practicing some self-defense on a husband. So it was very useful. We also art. Art therapy is really big out there to help with mental health. We did so many activities to do with art. And here is some of them. Card making, flower making. We used people from within the group, actually, to help us do that. The group, the people within the group actually made all the crafts and uh, it helped them to boost their confidence. They were teaching the group on something. The top left is actually Christmas boxes, which we covered. And the white British ladies had so many talents. They taught us how to knit, how to crochet, how to paint on pillowcases. We made tablecloths, bags, 
and pillars painted on pillars. And that is actually the white British community bringing in their talents, shopping bags as well. These are actually so many things that we did, a collection of things. We did origami, we did painting, we made uh, Christmas decorations, some baubles there on the bottom right. We made photo frames, celebration cards. We made fans in the summer, homemade fans. They went down really well. I've still got my one in my conservatory. And these were eggs. Now, one of the white British English ladies had a hobby where she, she would paint goose eggs. So she actually brought in so many eggs, all different shapes and sizes, which we then covered with glitter and painted and did all sorts. So there are some of our spectacular designs there. And then we had so many organizations actually come to us telling us that we can help you. We've got funding to support vulnerable people. Let us do some courses with you. So we had actually 12 session art course, which ran through open arts where we did so many initiatives every week. This is one on watercolors. And all the ladies you can see had very good art. All of them had special needs of some kind, whether it's mental health, whether it's dyslexia, and all of them really, really put in all the effort into art. And this is some watercolor arts that we did. This is some painting that we did on canvases. The bottom right one's mine, and it's my dining room, which I've put up even now, it's on my dining room door. And we did some work on nets, wire sculptures as well. This is collage, which that went down really, really well. And some felting, with some made some butterflies, really colourful. This is some henna painting, which some one of the Asian ladies came in and showed us how to do henna painting. And we would showcase all our stuff that we would be we would make in conferences and stalls. This is a Basildon Council We Think stall, and uh, it's on there that we showcase some of our artwork. And there's some pictures. The bottom right corner is a mental health conference which we did. And as you can see, there's Frank Bruno there in the picture. And um, is a video now. Women Together is a group which gets vulnerable women together to help tackle any mental health issues and we do that through interfaith activities, lunches, coffee mornings and art. The women who attend get a lot out of this group. They find friends where they may be isolated in their homes by integrating them in a multi-faith society, there's a great sense of unity and bonding. Women Together is a voluntary organisation which helps ladies from the BAME community, which stands for Black, Asian, Minority, Ethnic, and which deals with faith and how faith, prayer, meditation can help with mental health and anxiety. We have speakers from the interfaith sectors, from voluntary sectors, from other sectors like uh, stress and mental health organisations to talk to them, to signpost them and to help them get into occupations. And then we always have a shared lunch and this is where the ladies really enjoy themselves because everybody brings in a dish, a native dish to do with their own ethnicity. And then we all share that, we all eat together. And then we have a art therapy session in the afternoons, which also helps them with their mental health. The women who come along, they benefit greatly. It helps hugely with self-confidence, helps them with their everyday worries and problems. It's a way of networking, meeting other ladies who are in the same position as them. We also have white British English ladies who attend very regularly because it's a free art therapy session. And what that does in turn is it helps the women from the BAME community to learn with their English skills. So everyone is learning in so many different ways. We do have a website and on our website all the dates are published but you can also get in touch with Basildon Council and they can give you the dates as well. Come along and join us, it's free, it's exciting and you will meet other people as well. And um, that was actually a video 
right up to the pandemic. After the pandemic, things changed. So we had to go online, but that did not stop us. We did so many activities online. So we actually did some cooking online where we made an egg McMuffin. And we also made a pizza in the microwave as well during the break. And we had talks to do with the pandemic. Our craft activity was actually making a face mask, which was so useful. We all made that with our hands. So that was really, really good. Women Together has helped the ladies actually find their sense of belonging. It improves their confidence through so many things which they thought they were not able to do and they can. It builds up their immunity, their health. It is important to continue funding these kinds of projects because you're actually helping the most vulnerable people out there, the ones who actually really need the support. This is our fitness class, which we ended up doing on Zoom. So we couldn't do exercise in the group. We ended up doing exercise on Zoom. So here is another video about our fitness class. This is our Women Together fitness classes that we have been running. They're every Saturday, four o'clock to five o'clock. They're completely free. This is the email address where you can get in touch with me and you can join us. Hi ladies, I've absolutely loved every single week. It's just, it brings such an energy to everybody and everybody leaves feeling really positive and all the ladies are of different ages, different abilities. So we've had people from all different um, countries join. Okay ladies, so nice easy march on the spot for me. Bring those knees up nice and high. Okay, so for those who you know, jump down. So your left spread on nice and high. Right here, push it up to the side. Bring it back, take it head and start it down. Swing to eye gaze, one, two, three. Okay, so we're going to do the it's free, it's fantastic. Just come along. Okay, I bet that got everyone going there with all those ABBA tunes. And then uh, we also brought in other things like uh, painting a mural in Basildon was the next exciting project. So we all helped to design a mural. This is our design that everybody did, which represents women together, which was then publicly painted in um, Basildon Town Centre. So all the ladies then went along and we painted our design, which was filmed as well. This is a little picture of me, little video of me painting the mural. Okay. And this was actually just near Costa Coffee, if anybody wants to see it. You go up the stairs and it's along that corridor, which is really, really quite dark and dreary, which we cheered up. And this is actually our finished mural now, what it looks like. And it's absolutely beautiful very very colorful it shows all the ladies all from different backgrounds all coming together we're holding food um, and some of the craft activities are on there like the flowers that we've made and we've got gingers on there as well as you can see so we were very privileged actually to have this joint piece of work really that we like did together story. and it's cheered up actually the whole of that corridor Okay, and then the last initiative that we've very recently done is we all did a fun sponsored walk together and we all did this to raise money for three projects, to plant a tree for the Jubilee, to support bees, to install hives and to help people with special needs and BOSS is actually something which some of you may know of and I actually cut the ribbon as a Deputy Lord Lieutenant in Essex to open up the special needs unit in Wat Tyler Park. So we raised money for that. And I'm just going to put the video on now for you to see. So this is the walk which started. We did a full five mile run around Wat Tyler Park. This is us starting at the beginning. We had lots of people joining us and it was really fun. We saw so many sites along the way. So this is actually totem poles there. Um, there was a marina there as well. And uh, there was actually a sensory garden there. There's a picnic area there. This is the steam railway area coming up. We finished the walk and we finished actually with food again. And there is actually a little bit of me talking in a minute. Okay, Sidra, do you want to tell me all about today? How was the walk? 
I know I joined in with the food, but how was the walk? The walk went really, really well. We did manage to get our five miles done, which is absolutely brilliant. It was a very fun walk. So we saw so many sights as we walked. We saw the marina, we saw a bird watching area. There was a lovely sensory garden. There was a pond with lilies and things. We even saw a cow in the woods as well. So it was really, really fun. And uh, we had a good, great turnout actually and uh, it's only a little bit of people left now and we're eating now uh, the end stage uh, you know just to sort of uh, f refuel ourselves so um, everybody um, whoever sponsored me and sponsored all the other lovely ladies and everybody else who joined us today through women together and other organizations as well um, who sponsored us there will be a link going around with this video and if you can please now donate the money will be going towards three different initiatives. We are growing trees, we are making new beehives in the park, and the money is also going towards special needs children. And the base is actually here in the park, right to opportunities for special people. Awesome. Okay, fantastic. So all in all, you've had a wonderful time. And then that's just us eating at the end. So food always brings us together. I'm going to stop sharing now. Oh, yes. So did you all manage to see all that? In here, all yes, that? that was excellent. Thank you so much. And it's quite important. And thank you so very much, Sita, because I know how busy you are. Yes, thank you so much. I am going to have to go now. I'm really sorry. But just to quickly finish, the next Women Together is actually next week. It's on Wednesday, 27th October, and it's 11 o'clock to 2 o'clock up in the Towngate Theatre, upstairs in the foyer, if you want to join us. Okay. Next, we will uh, be having talks on anger management, mental health talk, and we're having a craft activity as well. And excellent. I will uh, stay in contact, Sita, because I'm looking to increase the number of our community advocates uh, coming from various uh, cultures. Yes, yes. All and right, thank you so much. It was lovely I to see you. Thank you, and I'm, thank you yeah. so much, Sidra. Thank you for your time. Right, then thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.